Ubisoft allegedly spent between 650 and 850 million on its quadruple A game Skull and Bones. So that's the reason why they are hemorrhaging money. It's not because of Star Wars Outlaws, and it's not because of the bad rap and the bad um, you know, reputation that Assassin's Creed Shadows is has yeah. been given. It's actually this game, and this is the game that no one's playing, right? So if you actually go to the Steam yeah. charts, right? I'm gonna go up. To, I'm gonna bring up the Steam charts really quick, and what? it's going a uh, skull and bones. Yeah, and but let's I go ahead and bring it up. I think like Star Wars Outlaws is not too far behind that number. I would yeah. speculate around half of the number. Ubisoft Maybe like two hundred fifty. Yeah, yeah, two hundred fifty. But damn, this thing is almost a billion, right? So here's the thing. Right now, current players to a uh, two hundred and fifteen. Uh, peak all time two months and since its launch was 2600 and i believe there's like early access or something like that this is expensive and ubisoft is the same people that says you don't have the right to own the games mm-hmm. like they're the same he, people that said that yeah apart apart like eve's gummo like for every time he's he makes a public statement he does he says something or maybe it wasn't him him or his executives like Whenever they utter something, just to be utter something about the games industry, it's like it almost feels intentional that they want to get gamers upset by them. So, like a part of me believes that, like, yeah, I think the the game plan of the Guillermo family is like to to really try to sink the valuation low so that they can buy the company back, and then that's when there's like, oh, we apologize for what we said before, and blah 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 blah, and people will believe them. I think that was supposedly. I I really think that's their game plan, but it I, it's not working out for them. Like that yeah. that game plan, yeah. Yeah. So of course, of course, this is, this is um was uh done by Endymion. He was he officially put that out. So there's a quote right over here. Endymion shared, "I was also told that the project that ruined Ubisoft was not actually Outlaws or Shadows. It was actually Skull and Bones." My sources told me that there have been multiple different versions of the game that were each completely different over the years. They said that they were told that the budget was spent on Skull and Bones is ranged somewhere between 650 to 850 million dollars over the 10 years. And that Skull and Bones failed so badly for Ubisoft, it was the actual reason why they're dying the way they are. It's not actually Outlaws or Shadows, if you can believe it. So they sunk a legendary amount of resources into that game and clearly did not work out for them at all. And then recently you have the monetization director at Ubisoft, Stevi. Uh, Chazard lashes out at gamers and fellow developers. So, what have you heard about this one? Uh, yeah, I, I, I left the tweet on that negro text. Monetization direct. It's like, it sets me off the wrong way when you hear those two words. Like, oh, so your, your position is to manipulate people to spend money in the game, on in game items and shit like that. But anyway, yeah. it's not surprising that the, he says, oh, these, these toxic gamers are so inconsistent with the livelihoods of other people. Uh, it, it's not just good product and people will buy. It's really that simple. If it's if you're losing money, it's because you made a shit up. That's all there is to it. Or you spent too much on making that product that your profits were not enough to give an adequate return. It's just that. It's really that yeah. Simple. Yeah, I see. <laughs> you are your internet is like you're blurry and you're like cutting in and out. You're sounding like a robot. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, yeah, yeah I'll, we, we I'll need to get Starlink, man. You get you a Starlink. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be like, I was searching my phone earlier to buy the prepaid broadband. I'm starting to get ticked off. I'm always lagging, always getting blurred. So I'll get a, a separate prepaid prepaid line just dedicated for just dedicated for this moving forward. Yeah. It's not expensive anyway. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Go and read this. this is Stevi Chazard, the monetization director at Ubisoft, lashed out at gamers and his fellow developers in the wake of the company postponing Assassin's Creed Shadows and admitting its sales on Star Wars Outlaws were softer than expected. Like it's, we mentioned this before, it's flaccid. Right? He's not, he doesn't have a hard boner. Right? Star Wars Outlaws we didn't have a big hard boner. Right? Mm-hmm. Ubisoft announced that via the press release that it was downgrading its expected yearly net bookings to. 1.95 billion euros, and that would have around break even non IFRS rotate, sorry, operating income and free cash flow. It also shared that it had a softer than expected launch for Outlaws, 
and Outlaw's initial sales proved softer than expected. The company also delayed Assassin's Creed Shadows to February of 2020, 20, uh, sorry, 2025, claiming it would prove additional time for the further polish of the title. They're not going to fix it that much. Three, a like, couple months. Okay, so what? They're not releasing it in like next month anymore. They're releasing it in like four, two, three months after. You're not going to get that much more changed in terms of polish, right? And do you think they're, I don't think they're going to swap out Yasuke. I think they're going to go full ham into Black Lives Matter. It's because it's also Black History Month. So if you hate this yeah. game, you are against Black people. Yeah, if it's, I, because like, uh, I, if you, if you want to believe in Demons, like, there's a good chance that the game might be delayed even further. So if they do that, a part of me thinks that maybe, maybe they might swap out Yasuke. But I agree with you. If it's if they stick to February, nah, they're gonna stick with that. And yeah, they're gonna fr- they're gonna angle it like the way you said, BLM month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, See, so yeah, about after a week of this press release, Chazard took to LinkedIn where he lashed out at gamers and his fellow. Wait, he did it on LinkedIn? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so. First of all, LinkedIn is filled with a bunch of like the left wing nut jobs. And that's where a lot of them like, a, you know, put jobs out. And people are acting like it's a like a social media account. There was this person one time that they got hired on at Disney and like I could, like she had massive boobs and you, she couldn't hide it, right? But like she's wearing a really tight shirt, massive boobs, right? I'm like, okay, cool. She got hired. She has big boobs, you know? I, at the top of my head, I'm thinking that. I shit you not. There was a guy in the comment section who says, nice torpedoes. <laughs> oh my, oh my uh, God. Uh, on, link, on, on, LinkedIn, link, huh? on LinkedIn. Nice torpedoes. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, he, he it's should crazy. The, that guy should put the hashtag open to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> he wrote, I rarely post on social media, but today I am sad. Ashamed and sad. The gaming industry is rough at the moment. We all know it. But seeing how gamers react on social medias, wishing ill fate to companies and people alike is sad. And not only towards Ubisoft. Even though it, it, uh, it is always the vocal minority that express themselves on social media, I was hurt. Hurt and ashamed to be a part of this community, he added. Which is right over here. Holy crap. Okay, what is even more revolting is coming on LinkedIn and seeing the same comments from people within the industry. On top of exposing yourself as clearly non-decent human being, you are affecting thousands of employees that are already impacted by all the hate despite doing their best to deliver incredible experiences. How can you wish a company to fail simply because they do not cater to you or that the product does not please you is beyond me? We are all in the same boat. Please, please, please stop spreading hate. We should all uplift each other instead of bringing each other down. I wonder if this is still on their website. I'm going to look it up right now. I'm going to look, look it up right now. Bevy Chazard, right? Oh my God, I'm second. I, I have mutual connections to this guy. <laughs> there he is right over there. There he is. Uh, this this guy publicly posted it right over here. Bro, you've deleted this post, but the internet. No way. <laughs> this guy called him out. Bro, you deleted this post, but the internet is not a fool here. Also, to add to your post, you forget the most of the near Ubisoft content and product is very much underwhelming and not adding to some of the companies and their personal making names to existing customers. People don't ask for too much expectations. People only ask for decent content, such as graphics that is actually good li- living to its trailers or teasers. Games that actually are playable and does not handhold their players as if their IQ is zero, does not include too much of microtransactions and so many stuff. I will say everything in professional language as much as possible in the words of that prof- professionals can understand and quick as possible. Oh my God, this guy. Oh, oh my God, this guy's gay. This guy went in. This guy went in on him. Holy crap. Yeah. Star Wars Outlaws I, game is. Okay, go, go, go ahead before I read this. No, I, I, was, I was just going to make a remark. I wish this is the stuff that I read on LinkedIn. All I see are people talking about their. Employment on LinkedIn. I don't get to see shit like this on LinkedIn. 
Yo, man. Yo, I, I, I want to I wanna read more of these. LinkedIn stuff. is getting crazy, man. I'm going to yeah. zoom in a little bit. Star Wars Outlaws. One, the game is too hand-holding. There is clip air where everyone purpose, purpose, purposively doing wrong stuff in a puzzle, and the game just let you win anyways. Stealth system AI that is worse than Ubi's older titles. Uh, Ubisoft, yeah, Ubisoft older titles. There is a video comparing where AI from Assassin's Creed Black Flag can detect you hiding once you face them versus Outlaws that is just you only need to hide and the Stormtrooper just be like a fool. Graphics that don't live up to the expectations, especially when you compare to something like Wukong. Damn. Wukong is Unreal 5, so it's sort of like... And Wukong is, you know... Mm -hmm. Only took them seventy million dollars to make instead of uh, you know two hundred fifty. Uh, not to mention your early access save file bug, especially when those people pay a hundred USD, a hundred dollar, which is very costly in other countries, but US and EU. Basically, worse gameplay systems than many Ubisoft's previous titles. It, uh, it's number six. A possible no, not confirmed. I'm just guessing here. Bribes when I guess when Ubisoft go all out. To promote this game, giving free rides and Disneyland. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh man, I got. Yeah, oh yeah. my god, I forgot about that. Yeah, they. Yeah. Oh man, bribe them. That's crazy. Oh man, let's see. I sat now. Assassin's Creed. Constant disrespect of to Japanese people from stealing their assets, wrong calligraphy, writing, wrong season dating, and so many stuff that if you do this in Japan, considering something like. Kyoani's incident back then, Ubisoft of Japan will also suffer the same thing. If there is one, not to mention broken Tori Gate figure that is out of time. Sengoku era have none of those. Use oh that ham. That's good. That's this guy's going in. Using consulting firm that has very bad track record, especially when handling products. Like Sweet Baby Inc. is a very bad consulting company that keeps giving bad games. And stuff. One of the employees does harassment and playing victim, and recently burning the games industry down. Oh, <laughs> oh man! In the uh. presentations, oh man. Number three, there is alleged rumor that character swapping, race swapping, is not the right word here. But for the sake of BLM, alleged info that Assassin's Creed Code Red Shadows should have Taka Yamauchi instead of Yasuke. Number four. Using sources and consultants that is questionable at best. So take a mirror and see what your company has done before spewing nonce. Damn. Yeah. Holy shit, man. This is on LinkedIn, man. This, this is not this is not on X. Yeah. Oh my god. That's crazy. Oh man. Check, but check the comments. What did they what did people say in the comments? I oh let's see. Uh uh is there see. more i think this guy is uh at this guy's commenting on himself okay okay now here think this guy wants to and why should i play a game made by people that in, intensely hate gamers uh also a good point no reason at all there's no fun in the game that's made by hate we need elon musk style management oh shit yeah. Oh, to trim the fat, get rid of world culture, hire more people based off of merit, not the skin color or gender. Oh my god, dude. Yo, make Ubisoft great again. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Love to have, dude. Another one. His actual job description precisely defines what Ubisoft audience hates the most about modern video games. He yeah, that's what I said. Paid not to understand and utterly ignore the concerns. There is no way for him to reconcile his personal wants and beliefs with the reality that most people actively desire. Oh my god, dude. P Ubisoft Montreal is the biggest cancer. All oh, people are actually agreeing with him, which is great. I, you yeah. love to see this, man. Yeah, make <laughs> Ubisoft great again. Muga. Oh my. This, this is, and this guy, look, this guy is, he's an ally. Do you know why? He has pronouns in his bio. <laughs> this guy is an ally, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, here's the thing. Like this I am third. I I I know a person who knows a person that knows this guy. Oh my god. This is so this is so funny. This is so good. But yeah, man. Um yeah, but like you said, this the uh let, let, let's let's see how it is, man. Like, let's see if they get rid of all of their like 
woke stuff. They get rid of like maybe like 60% of their woke ideology, woke DEI garbage, and then Tencent takes over, completely rehouse a company. I can see it working. Tencent's from China, so I can see them doing it. Tencent, like China does not like woke shit. So we'll see. We'll see, man. But yeah, what do you what do you think about this guy who cop who responded with this? Yeah, that's pretty based. It's it takes balls to post something like that on LinkedIn. Because like I yeah, especially I, on I, LinkedIn. I, I wish I could get this kind of exciting content on LinkedIn. <laughs> I mean, I, I, all I get are like how to apply for a job, what not to put in put in your resume and shit like that. It, it's so boring, man. I don't get. I I need to find more of these stuff so that they'll come in my feed. But yeah, b- based response from, like, as someone in the comments said, like, your job description, man, it's like, that's like the the worst job you can get in gaming. It's like, oh, how to manipulate your consumers into spending more or to get them, to make them broke or to spend irresponsibly. It's like, that's not, for me, that's not what gaming's all about. Yes, you can make good money, but not in a way that live service wants it to be, like the wet dream of a live service game, but. Uh yeah, you get what you deserve, and yeah, I hope you you know, I hope he gets moved to a different department at the very least. Monetization director. That that's the scummiest job title I get. <laughs> I, I I hear in a, in the games industry. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.